One second. And I might put some people on mute at the beginning because I'm going to be doing an introduction. Okay. Let's see. So if you don't have your video on, I just hide you, but you're still there. You should be able to hear. And I'm checking. I should be live right now on YouTube. So hello to everyone. Okay, wonderful. So we have people today. And today uh, we're going to do let's describe and predict, okay? So what does that mean? Well, in this live English lesson, we're going to use some pictures. Hmm? And we're going to describe pictures, all right? So I'll be going back and forth between whoever's live with me on Zoom and whoever's in the comments on YouTube, okay? So we'll describe uh, we'll describe pictures, and then we're going to predict what will happen in the video. All right, I have two people here. I'm going to unmute you guys so you can say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? Good. I'm people wonderful. Here. I'm going to unmute you guys. I hear my own voice, but it'll be all right. Okay, thank, so thank I've, you for inviting us. Sure, I've met Ghazal before, and can I get your name, sir? Hassan. Hassan. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Welcome sure. to this live, live lesson. Okay. Hassan. Hassan. Okay. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Welcome sure. to this live lesson. lesson. All right. Let's see. There is an echo, but let's see if okay. something I can turn Wonderful. off. One Welcome second. All right. Let's see. There is an echo, but let's see if. <laughs> I think it's from my side. Nice. It's possible. Oh, if you have YouTube on, then there's probably a delay from the live on Zoom to YouTube. So if you, maybe if you mute the YouTube, that would probably work. Yeah. From the live on Zoom to YouTube. So if maybe if you mute the YouTube, that would probably work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is great. I'm figuring out how to do this. Right. All right, so let's see. Whoever has the background, I'm going to have to... I muted the YouTube. Yes, okay. So if everyone can mute the YouTube, that would probably be the way to go. All right. And I'm just going to hide the non-video participant. Okay. All right, wonderful. So enough of the hesitation. Let's jump in and let's get started. And I, I first... I had I received a very nice I think it was you Hassan you gave me a very nice comment in a uh, YouTube you said that you you liked yes. my telegram yeah. stuff I want to say yes, thank yeah. you <laughs> I, and, I follow everything you share ah and let's see we'll yes. take a, a quick peek so everybody else can see ah look it's me on telegram <laughs> yes <laughs> so in case you guys want to check out it's just at Abelingo on telegram Look, it's Lots of stuff there. And this yes. week, I think we're talking well, about uh, life and death. In case mm -hmm. you guys want to check right. out, it's just at Abel oh. on Telegram. Look, I hear an echo right, right now in the background. So and whoever's week, on Zoom, about, uh, you need to mute death. your YouTube. In case you guys want yes. to check right. out, Hello? Yes, hello, Sada al -Amal. Yes, how are you? I'm great. And we also have... Uh... It's first time I meet. Ah, wonderful. We also, we also have Marwa Cool. Hello. Hello, hi. Good, good. Okay. Hi. So... You, you hear me? Yes, I can hear everyone. And just make remember, make sure if you're watching on YouTube to mute your YouTube. Okay, and there's a delay. Yes. Z Zoom is better anyway, because it's up to date. All right. Thanks. Okay. So let's jump in and let's take a look at the first picture. So I see in the comments people saying hello, hello. All right, Hassan, can you tell yes. me something about this picture? What do you see? There is a baby and he or she is lying in, in his bed or um, cram. What does it mean? I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, there is a black dog uh, behind him uh -huh. uh, or her, I don't know. Uh, 
they are happy together. <laughs> I uh, guess so. Uh, the dog is uh, cold with uh, warm uh, with uh, the baby, uh, and it doesn't afraid of the baby. Uh huh. Huh? They seem okay. comfortable together. Yes, they are comfort comfortable. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. S S Sada, are you there? Yes. Do you know what do we call the thing that the baby is in? What do we call that? Something like chair. It's like a chair. That's right. Uh huh. And I think it's called a baby rocker, if I'm not mistaken. It's not too long ago that my daughter was in one of those. Let's see, a baby rocker. Can everybody see the images? Yeah. Okay. Baby. There, a baby rocker. There we go. Something like this. Uh, a portable baby rocker. Aha, it is a baby rocker. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so in a baby rocker. All right, and let's see, it's Sada. Uh, what do you think is the relationship between the baby and the dog? They are friends. Huh? Huh? And how do we know? How do we know that you know it's a good relationship versus something that could be a problem? What information do we have? Because the baby is uh, is quiet. Uh -huh. She doesn't cry and. Uh... Ah. Can we say because the baby is calm? Does that work? Yeah, yeah. Calm. Um, and the dog very, uh, very close to the baby. Yes. All right. And let's see. I'm going to bounce around between you guys. Marwa, how would you describe the, the dog's head? How is the dog? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, the dog is uh, um, leaning on his chin. Huh? Okay, um, and the bouncer, can we say it, it is a bouncer? Well, let's see. It depends on the design. Let's take a look. We'll baby in... bouncer or baby seater, you could say. Uh -huh. When I think of a baby bouncer, I think of something different, but this could depend on the country and culture as well. So I'll put in baby bouncer. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I think of a baby bouncer, uh -huh. okay. there you go. All right. Yeah. Okay, so it is also a bouncer. I was thinking of my daughter had a bouncer where she literally could jump straight up and down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I guess this will work. This will be a, a baby bouncer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the um, dog is... Yeah, yeah. We have here a black hunting dog, I guess. Okay. And he's like leaning his chin on the cedar. And the dog is... Um... <laughs> He's wearing a um, red color, uh -huh. and he seems very calm, and he, he's getting along with the baby, actually. Uh -huh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, and, uh, uh -huh. okay, right. and, uh, and I was, yeah. I left one blank here, because if we say yeah. lean, if we say leaning, I think more like the mm -hmm. whole body is leaning. All right. Okay. So, so we, he's putting his chin. We could say or, pudding. There's another word that starts with R, um, and you could sticking. It, it, it no. means to like put it to put something lightly, lightly on. Mm -hmm. Could be your hands. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, maybe relaxing. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> Re relaxing. Let's see. Let's see. Laying on. Laying on. I, not laying quite. On. Let's see, Hassan, do you have any idea? It's R E. I'll start putting in the, the letters. It ends with G. Rock. <laughs> no, not rock. Uh, the black dog is lean. No. Yeah. Relaxing. Our <laughs> relaxing teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. Relaxing. It's the <laughs> it's a relaxing environment, but I wouldn't quite say he's Relaxing his head like that. I see. He is, there yeah. is a uh, there's a T in there, and I suppose resting. we can, yes resting. <laughs> right. So the black dog is resting its head on the rocker or bone. Teacher, it is similar to relaxing. <laughs> I know. 
I just to 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 me, if I said relaxing, it would sound awkward. So I wouldn't choose relaxing. Yeah. But I would I would understand. I would understand. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's see, Hassan. How would you describe the baby's clothing? Babies. Clothing. Clothing. I I couldn't describe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sada, what do you think? What would you say for the baby's clothing? Um, it's a pink color. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a good start, right? Yeah. And I think it's a uh, very uh, comfortable mm, for a baby. Great. Uh huh. Let's see. Okay. All right, uh, Marwa, what do you think? The baby's wearing a pink. She's a pink overall, dotted overall. Ah, overalls. Well, let's see. There, she's wearing pink polka dotted. Yeah, polka. Polka dotted. Okay. Right. Okay, polka dotted. Right. I'm just gonna okay. show everyone to make sure we have an idea what does polka dotted mean. It's clothing I would mm -hmm. never wear. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, I suppose maybe, but polka dotted, right? It could be for a shirt. Okay. It could be for Somewhere. a costume, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I remember when my daughter was little, she had something that was called a onesie, baby onesie, mm -hmm. a onesie. Mm -hmm. This might actually be underneath what the baby's wearing, but it's just easy, so you can open it and change the diaper. So uh -huh. for, for this one, I might say the, I don't know, an outfit <laughs> is wearing a pink polka dotted outfit. I'm sure there's a specific name, but I'm just going to say outfit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. But at least you yeah, guys yeah. got the vocabulary pink yeah. pol polka dotted. <laughs> outfit. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. and let's see, uh, how about, let's see, Sada, can you tell me about the time of day? What do you think? About what? The time of day in the picture. It must I be think uh, the after, oh, Sada. afternoon. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, sorry, Sada, okay. Ah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> right. No problem. Go ahead, Hassan, if you have something to add, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's Sada's turn. <laughs> Ah. I can wait. <laughs> All right, Sada, do you have anything you want to add? No. How about this? How do we know it's afternoon? I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? But how do we know? How would you put into English to describe or tell <laughs> someone who can't see? Maybe someone's blind and they need you to describe it to them. <laughs> how do we know it's afternoon? Because there's a, I think, the light. Okay, it's afternoon. Maybe we could say because of the light coming through the window? Yeah, I think there's a sun. Oh. All right, so we'll change it from light to sunlight, right? Sunlight coming through the window, right? And if you had to pick a number, as in the specific time, what do you think? Um... Eleven. So eleven, okay. It might be around eleven a.m. So eleven in the morning. Yeah. Right. But we said we said afternoon. Eleven is not afternoon. <laughs> we have a conflict. Mm -hmm. Good, good, Hassan. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. So what do you yeah, think? That's right. What do you think, Sada? Would you like to change the number? Twelve. Twelve. All right. 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Maybe we could just say around noon. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So let's see. I have uh, three people here. And you know that this is going to become a, uh, a video, right? So I'm going to ask for your guys' okay. predictions. How about mm -hmm. we start with Marwa? Mm -hmm. Would it be about your turn? Okay. What is your prediction? Okay. My prediction mm -hmm. is the flowing that the baby 
is gonna tell her dad or her mom, get out of the room. I wanna be, I wanna stay with my dog alone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna see anyone in the room. So this is my prediction. Your, your prediction is that the baby is a genius and mm -hmm. can talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. I am only speaking to my dog today. She's okay. saying like that. All right, okay. Hassan, how about you? What is your prediction? My prediction about what? I couldn't hear you. I didn't understand. What is your prediction? About because this picture will become a video in a moment. Because uh, our topic this week is uh, born that and daily life so it is uh, a part of daily life maybe well that's for telegram <laughs> yes that's the i'm i'm, I'm huh? your follower of telegram <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any prediction for this video something will happen with the dog and the baby what maybe do you think will excuse happen? me teacher please please uh -huh. excuse me one minute yeah, one sec. Maybe the, the dog is gonna uh, rock the, the, the kid, baby, I mean. Okay. Ooh, that's an <laughs> interesting baby. guess. Hassan, he's you... going to rock her in order to let her sleep. She's oh. unable to sleep, okay? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Right. Hassan, Hassan, do you have any prediction? Or should we wait and see? I have to think about it. <laughs> okay. I need it. <laughs> and Sada, how about you? Do you have any predictions? Are you there, Sada? Right. Well, how about this? We'll just go straight to the video and let you guys tell me what's happening, okay? All right, let's see in the in the comments. I'm just going to put it here. Uh, Jose mm -hmm. says the bouncer is going to swing and it will beat the dog in the neck. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, let's see. We have Kian from Kian English. Let's okay. see if he's here. Hello, Kian. <laughs> you might have to choose the option to uh, turn on your microphone, I think. But you came live with me. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Now unmute you. Hello, Kian. Hi, how are right. you? I'm great. Have you been watching for a I, I don't know. Teacher, please excuse me. I don't know if he is hearing me or no, but I am saying hello to Kia. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yes, I think everyone can hear everyone. So, Kian, what is your prediction for this picture? Because it's going to become a video. Um, I don't know. Maybe the baby is going to to laugh <laughs> okay all right well but, enough of but, waiting around let's jump in ah Ooh. need to restart my okay let's see one sec i'm restarting my meeting All right. Okay. It all. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, you were yeah. you were all kicked out. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I was kicked out too. So now here we are. We're back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Let's see the video and we'll see what's happening. Okay. All right. So first yeah. off, you can see the video, right? Teacher, the same, the same answer. Okay. Exactly the same answer. Okay, so uh, why don't we start with you, Kian, because you're the most recent to join us. See, I'm gonna... Okay, the dog, the dog mm -hmm. is babysitting. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's good. And, dog and, is. And, yeah, uh -huh. and, yeah. Go, go ahead, and, Kian. And the dog. Hold on, Marwa. Okay. Go ahead, Kian. Okay. Um. Yeah, and you know the baby is kind of uh, um shocked 
I don't know what's happening. I mean, it, she doesn't, she or he doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna say maybe a word that might be might be new. The baby is bewildered. Have you heard that word before? No. To you. Bewildered. Ah, does yeah. does anyone have an idea what bewildered means? Go ahead and speak. Bewildered. Hmm. Bewildered. Confused, baby. Maybe surprised. Uh huh. So I heard surprised. I heard confused. Yes, bewildered is kind of like you don't really know what's going on in the situation, right? Yeah. She is. She's still not wearing what's going on around her because she's still baby, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So she's bewildered. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, Marwa, why don't you tell me something about this picture or the video? Yeah. Video now. Yeah. I feel like uh, they both feel like calm, warm, confident of themselves. <laughs> and the baby, like, um, what? <laughs> and the baby, like, she's saying, uh, uh, I would die to stay with you, my dog. Please stay with me. <laughs> as right. much as you can because you know she's talking inside her not uh, you know not because she's genius no okay all right let's see uh gazal how about you what would you say how would you describe the video what's happening <coughs> sorry no, no worries uh, can, can you hear me yes great hello gazal yeah i <laughs> Hey, hi, Hi. <laughs> hi. I guess the baby uh, was watching a TV show and uh, all of a sudden the dog appeared to sing the bouncer and uh -huh. the baby is puffing his uh, cheeks to show uh, his you know, dissatisfaction. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. leave him alone. Just, just let me enjoy. <laughs> and Gazal, do you think it's a baby girl or a baby boy? Uh, maybe yeah. because of the color, because huh? it's uh, I don't know. It's a stereotype that pink suitables and blue is uh -huh. suitable for boys. Huh? So I guess the baby, yeah, should okay. be a girl. Okay, so I just started to rock her all right so we could say the dog is rocking the baby <laughs> it says uh, the parents probably yeah. love this dog <laughs> all right yeah. let's see uh yeah uh, sada do you want to say anything about the video no i think that the guys say everything <laughs> all right okay so i think we've used up this this situation all right, so we have the dog, the dog's rocking the baby, the baby's kind of bewildered, which is like confused, yeah. unsure, a little bit nervous, maybe not sure what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's go to picture number two. All right, let's see if it comes here. My net's not funky. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so why don't we start with Sada? Can you tell me something? <laughs> about uh <laughs> this picture oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is a boy or it's a guy a, <laughs> it's a man yes <laughs> it is <laughs> man <laughs> uh -huh. and he's what how would you fill this in take off his shirts okay and do we know if he's taking it off or putting it on do we have enough information take off Okay, sure. And we'll find out in the video, right? But we could say he's taking <laughs> off his shirt. Off his shirt. Uh, and let's go to Hassan. Are you still there? No, he's putting on. Putting his shirt on, oh. I think. Okay, well, well, we'll get to that in a moment. But could you fill in the sentence? It's a man and he's taking off his shirt because... How would you fill it? Mm -hmm. Fill in the sentence. I don't think so. I think uh, he's putting, uh, putting on 
Okay, so we can start an alternate reality. We'll go, it's a man, and he's putting on his shirt because, what would you say? Because he is nude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, you probably would say naked, right? He's naked and feels awkward. <laughs> In front and, of his uh, guest. His, 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 his armpit is uh, very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has to, he has to uh, put it on, put it on. Uh -huh. So he, uh, I don't know, feels bad about showing his hairy armpits. Yes. Right. So let's see, uh, let's see, who haven't I asked yet? <clears throat> uh, how about Sada? What does the word awkward mean? Uh, I don't know actually. All right. How about Ke Kian, what does awkward mean? Uh, awkward um, is a situation where you feel when you feel, uh, you know, kind of embarrassed or, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Is is it something that we want to feel all the time? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Right. You feel kind of like out of place, you could say, maybe a mix of nervous, anxious, uh, just kind of sometimes there are feelings you can't quite put into words. But if you feel nervous about your hairy arm armpits, you might feel awkward, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Gazal, do you think taking off or putting on? No, I think it's putting on the teacher t shirts. Huh? And yeah, because the position of the t-shirt is like it's stretching ah. uh, in bottom side. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah. we, maybe the bottom of the t-shirt is stretching over his head, do you think? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like uh, the size of the t-shirt is not appropriate for him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and give give me more details. What about the size? I don't know. It's, uh, it's short. It seems too what? What would you say? Extra small. small. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh huh. Right. It seems too small. Okay. All right. Let's see. And uh, Hassan, what do you think? What is the location? We can't see the background completely, but we kind of have an idea. What do you think, Hassan? He's uh, in a house, I think. Uh, okay. What room would you say in a house? Salon. Uh, maybe. Okay. And I th in the US, we would probably say living room? Uh, behind. Maybe be living room. Uh, because uh, there is a curtain uh, behind him. Uh -huh. uh, and cupboard, uh, table, a like table. Sure. So sure. I think I think it he's in a uh, living room. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the guy <clears throat> is inside a house, probably in the living room. And before I think I added that uh, he feels awkward in front of his guests. So let's see, <laughs> uh, Marwa. What kind of situation oh. might this be if he has guests? Again, again, please. <laughs> ah, if he has guests that are visiting, what okay. kind of situation could this be? Yeah, it's going to be embarrassing, uncomfortable, and a pleasant situation for him. Right, that would describe the situation, but what occasion do you think? Maybe, um, what occasion? Maybe, uh... <laughs> Maybe uh, his friends is uh, they are coming to, to his home. Okay. Or he's inviting a friend, or maybe uh, I think he's in a hurry and he's trying to uh, pull his shirt off because he wants to, um, you know, waving his shirt over his head. I think. <laughs> it sounds pretty pretty likely. All right, Kian, what do you think? If he has guest presence, this could be a what? What do you think? 
Um, I think somebody is just, uh, uh, you know, rang the bell, and uh, oh. maybe, it, yeah, maybe his his wife, and he he has been with um, with his girlfriend, <laughs> uh -huh. and yeah, and now now he's um, he's worried, so he's trying to put something on. And he has no idea how. So what, excuse me, what, teacher, what, please. I want to add something. <laughs> yes, Mara. <laughs> okay, if 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 he if uh, his girlfriend is waiting for him, why don't he wear like a uh, dental clothes, but like the t-shirt and jeans? <laughs> well, that's why Casual, we can. He, that, that's why we can yeah. use our imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should be more gentle and, uh, you know, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. not uh, wearing casual. <laughs> so let's see. So that's, yeah. All right. How mm -hmm. about uh, Ghazal? Yeah. What do you think? If he has guests uh, present, this could be what? What kind of occasion? Let's pretend the guests are already there. They can see him. <laughs> what do you think? What kind of occasion? Okay, maybe it's his birthday party and the guests are hiding somewhere behind the curtains or behind the sofa. And then all of a sudden, his girlfriend uh, mentions something and he, uh, he tries to uh, put, up, put on his t-shirt to get rid of this awkward situation. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden, uh, all of the guests uh, scream and they say, they shout, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> and imagination. Sure, sure. Um, uh, yeah, teacher, please, I want to add something, please. All right, go um, ahead, Marwa. Okay, so uh, I think he, <laughs> what I'm saying is going to be funny. Um, maybe he borrowed money from <laughs> one of the guests. So that guy saw him and he wants his money back. So what comes to his mind is he wants to cover his face from him because he's unable to pay back the money he borrowed before. Maybe. Sure. Maybe. I mean, this is, we could use whatever imagination we want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Okay. Is it possible? I'll give you a situation and then I'll ask someone if you think it's possible. That maybe they were eating and there was a mistake and someone spilled some food on him and he <laughs> like liquid or something that kind of messed up his shirt and he doesn't live here and so someone gave him what what do you think he and someone gave him um someone gave someone gave him a t-shirt uh of their own and um i think it's not going to fit him because okay. it's it looks too small for him, and uh -huh. um, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. And let's see, Hassan, are you still there? I think he is in uh, a hurry. So uh, I agree with Ken. 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 What's his name? <laughs> Ken. Uh -huh. uh, he has to uh, put it on uh, very quickly so someone is coming uh, the living room uh, so uh, the rank, uh, the bell uh, is ringing i think ringing so he has to uh, wear this shirt sure because he doesn't want to show up <laughs> at the the door shirtless because Yes. Maybe we can guess that he probably has pants on, or that would be really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably has pants on, and maybe he's quick trying to change. Maybe more guests are coming. Mm -hmm. He has to answer the door, all that stuff. Okay, so I need... Excuse me, may I add something? May I add yes. something, please? Go ahead. It's highly likely that this guy is insane or foolish man, because he's taking his shirt off in public just because he want to say, I'm here, look, or it is not my fault. <laughs> I mean, he wants to show off his body <laughs> as if he's the only one he, he got a body, beautiful body. 
anything is possible. It, see, in the comment, uh, Yuku Kawaii said maybe his mom is calling him to get back home. <laughs> yeah. he, he seems like he's a, a grown seems up. Like he's a, a grown up, up already, grown but they're ready, calling him to get home. Okay. Okay. So I hear an echo. So if anybody's watching on YouTube, make sure to mute YouTube. But here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. We're going to see the video, but I oh, need predictions. Teacher, please, please, please. What? One second. One second. Um, can we say, and instead of taking his shirt off, can we say yank, yanking his uh, shirt? Is it possible to say? Sure, you could say he yanked his shirt yeah. off. Okay. See, I'll put a couple. I, of I think I think it it fits more here than taking off his shirt because right. I I mean taking the shirt off just like um in a quiet way, but this is he he's in a rush, you know. Hmm. All right, let's yeah, see. How about, in Russia, yeah. how about Ghazal? Can you tell me what do you think are the differences between these three? Two of them are very similar, and the third has a, a kind of a different. What do you think, Ghazal? Uh, about remove something. So when you re remove something, you 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 remove it, <laughs> like you delete it. <laughs> Uh -huh. You uh -huh. eliminated. Possible. Possible. All right. Let's see. What do you th what do you think, Kian? How would you describe the oh. differences between these three? He yanked his shirt off. He took off his shirt. He removed his shirt. Okay. I I, I haven't heard um, the word yank before, but about the two other uh, verbs, I think remove is when you kind of get rid of something. Um, but, so it's a, a new word for you, Kia, <laughs> today. Yeah, yank, yank is. I've okay, never yeah. heard that before. Okay. And <clears throat> maybe I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, we can guess. How about Hassan? What do you think? How about I go straight? What do you think yank means? Do you have any idea, Hassan? Yank. Yeah. Uh... Pull it uh, forcefully. With yes. A quick, quick yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, right. I think. Yes, totally. If you yank something, it's with extra force, probably, possibly unnecessary force. But if you're in a super big <laughs> hurry, you might just yank it because you're in a hurry. Mm -hmm. But it's also common to say that he yanked me across the room or he yanked okay. the person out of the train or there was a fire mm -hmm. in the car and they yanked him out. So it mm -hmm. would be forcefully, but in that situation, if your car is on fire, you probably like it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yank means to pull with force, with kind of a lot of force. Uh, took off his shirt and removed his shirt. In this situation, they're pretty much interchangeable. It just means to kind of to disrobe, to remove your shirt, to take off your shirt. Um, mm -hmm. And remove could could work. Someone said eliminate. If uh, if we said remove the threat, <laughs> or remove your uh, you know the assassin, we would like you know kill them. But here, if we remove the shirt, we're just taking it off. Okay, so let's okay. start. Uh, uh, Go ahead, Kian. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you know there there's a there's a, a verb. I think it's a phrasal verb. I I don't remember it, and it means that uh, when you put on something. Something quickly. Uh, so what? What was that word? I, uh -huh. I so have we'll, forgotten it. We'll go the opposite direction. Instead of taking it off, uh, something that pops into my head. Uh, throw on. Yeah, yeah. I like think he that's... he uh, threw on his clothes and uh, yeah, rushed out the door. Exactly. Is that about right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's that's the phrasal verb I was looking for. Ah, and it's almost you could argue that it's an idiom as well because you can't literally throw your clothes on, right? <laughs> They're gonna hit you and bounce off and fall on the floor. <laughs> but it's just yeah. a way to show that you got dressed very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, wonderful. <laughs> okay, so let's start with uh, mm -hmm. Hassan. Give me a prediction. 
It is it is very hard. Prediction part is very hard. <laughs> this is there's no wrong answer, right? Whatever pops in your head. Uh, it is the problem. <laughs> well, nothing pops. Well, nothing is pops. Nothing pops in my head. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I have a question in the YouTube comments. See if we can answer that. UQ Kawhi says, "Gank may be similar with grab." All right. And let's. We'll be specific to this situation, okay? Let's see, where did my thing go? All right. He yanked his shirt off. Here, it wouldn't work. If we said he grabbed his shirt off, it, it doesn't work. But when you say grab, to like grab a person, it could be similar. Yank is kind of a higher level of force, I would say. But you could grab someone and pull. But grabbing just by itself is just the action of grabbing, right? What you do after that kind of depends. Uh, can I can I ask something here? No. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what about uh, um, gloves and mittens? Because uh, I think there's something for uh, like yanking gloves or mittens. Mm -hmm. All right. Can well, you help me with that? Sure. Let's see. Well. I can remember when I was a kid because I grew up in, I'll, I'll try to, I won't get off track too quick, but just so you can have an idea. Uh, I grew up in Minnesota, in, and I'll just say Minnesota winter. So I had gloves and mittens and the whole works, right? So a lot of snow. And sometimes when you're on the playground, you fight with someone <laughs> or you get rough with the other kids. And you could say... He yanked off my mittens, right? Okay. And if we say he grabbed my mittens, this one is kind of ambiguous, meaning there's different ways to understand this one. If I say he grabbed my mittens, well, how about I ask you guys? What do you think, Gazal? What are different ways to understand he grabbed my mittens? When you grab something, uh, you... Um, you take something very quickly to, I don't know, to wear or to, when you are in a party and you want to do it hastily, uh, you grab it. Like, I want to grab a bite of something or what about yeah, yanked? It's about wearing something, the way you wear uh, your mittens, your glove, your t-shirt. Uh -huh. And here it would be more of a phrase yanked off right so at this way we understand that the, the the mitten came off right it left your hand if we just have yanked you might still be wearing them but he kind of pulled on them right he yanked but he wasn't able to get them off um if he grabbed my mittens the two ways that i can think of is that one i'm holding my mittens and he grabbed them two is that my mittens are sitting on the table they're, I don't have them, but they're over there, and he grabbed them, and he took them away or something. So mm -hmm. still the same mm -hmm. grabbing motion. All right, let's see. Who are, are we at for – how about uh, Kian, prediction? Okay, prediction. I think he's going to put on the T-shirt, and it's going to um, – it's going to be – it's going to be torn. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Maro, what do you think? He's going to dance. He's going to pull off his <laughs> shirt and waving <laughs> over his head and dance. That's it. <laughs> All right. Gazal? I don't know. Maybe uh, because the T-shirt is uh, too small, it's uh, really tight and the man looks stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure, all wonderful predictions. He, look, he looks, uh, yeah, he looks impatient and in a rush guy. But I think uh, most likely that he's going to wipe his shirt over his head because, um, yeah, he want to take a photo or take a Okay. Like this. I'm going to show you the video, and I have a very strong feeling that you guys will recognize the guy after we see his face. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> <Friends>. <laughs> oh my God. So I can guess. 
Uh huh. Everyone from recognizes, friends. right? From friends. <laughs> yeah, friends. Yeah. All right. What's his name? <laughs> is I, I knew it. I I, pre I predicted. Ross, yeah. <laughs> uh, from the TV yeah. show Friends. Go ahead. And, yes, and I can't. I can't. Re I can't recall the dialogue. <laughs> but after that uh, scene, it was like this is my favorite T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> when he when he grabs uh, some stuff and he is uh, getting out the room and he's like, "This is my favorite T-shirt. Don't look <laughs> look at me like that." Uh -huh. yeah, but, but his T-shirt is so tight. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And I I don't remember the episode exactly, but I'm just going to ask a question about in general. The shirt is too small, mm -hmm. right? What word would we use? If it fit before, but it became smaller, what would we say? What do you think, Kian? Shrink. Is it shrink? Ah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> do you agree, Kian? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's it, shrink. Shrink or shrank. Maybe uh -huh. past, past participle is shrank or shrunk. No, <laughs> it's shrunk. <laughs> well, let's um, see. Could we say stretch t shirt? But well, now Maybe, it's stretched. <laughs> Right. Yes, it, Hassan. It's not his shirt. Maybe uh, it is someone else's shirt. Okay. Maybe Frank. Okay. Maybe Frank. Frankie's shirt, right? <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Gazal. You said you remember the episode. Was it his shirt or was it someone else's? No, it was. Uh, it, it belongs to uh, the name Chadler. <laughs> Who? Chandler? No, no, the girl. Uh, Rachel? The, I, I, no. uh, Who? Monica? Monica? No, not Monica. Oh, Rachel, the, Rachel. The tall Jennifer, blonde one. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, Rachel, oh, right? Aniston. Rachel, Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. So I think we'll, we'll double check, but I think for past tense, it's shrink. Let's take a shrink. look. Shrink. Let's double yeah, check. Shrink, shrink, shrunk. Because <laughs> shrunk is, I think, the past part of participle, right? Past. Whoop, past yeah, it's a shrink. Past, yeah, and the best past, is shrink. Right? Past tense of shrink. Shrink. Past ten Thank you, you, Google. I love you. The past tense of shrink <laughs> is shrink ah, or shrunk. Aha. Uh -huh. Shrink with you, teacher. Yeah. Ah, so the third person singular, simpler. Oh, we're not going to do grammar today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the present participle is shrinking. Okay, the past participle is shrunk or shrunken. Ah, so this is going to be one where you're going to depend on your personal preference and probably how you grew up, how you grew up saying it. I grew up saying it shrank. My shirt shrank. Um, it has shrunk, but... Sounds like we have options. All right. Thanks to Google, we can figure it out right away. Okay. So if it says Frankie says relax, does anyone have an idea? What does what is that referring to? By the way, I found the uh, episode <laughs> season three, episode nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <Yep. clears throat> Rose puts his Frankie's <laughs> relaxed chair. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, it's not. It's not says. It's say. Frankie it's, say oh, relax. Oh, say. Ah, you're right. Yeah. Thank you, Kian. Frankie say you're relax. Welcome. Does anyone have an idea what it refers to? I think I know, but. Frankie say relax. Has anyone, and I, I'm going to try to sing, and it's going to be horrible, but maybe you'll recognize. There's a song that's like, relax, don't do it. Dun, 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 dun. Have anyone heard that one? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I haven't. Let's see. It's, well, especially not how I sing it, right? They... <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can find Frankie Says Relax. I think it's part of a song. Right, let's find it here. Oh, look, it shows up. Nice, right away. Oh. There we go. Aha, the lyrics. 
relax, don't do it, whatever, whatever. Let's see who mm -hmm. sings the song. And I'm not going to sing anymore, I promise. Here we go. Uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood is the artist. Hmm? Okay, and it's called, I guess, Relax. Okay. <laughs> so we took a detour there, but uh, all right. So Frankie say relax, and I think it refers to that. All right. So any other questions or thoughts before we move to the third one? No, thank you. No? All right. We've had enough of this one, but it was a surprise to see Ross, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Loads, there it is. I know it's blurry, but we'll deal with it. All right, let's see. Hassan, what do you think? Tell me something about this picture. I, I couldn't see. I, I still see. I'm still seeing Rose. Ah, oh, maybe the, the video mm. hasn't caught up. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A man on the roof. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, yes. Someone. What is he doing? Uh, he's pulling, he's pulling something. He, he looks as if he's playing the violin, but the violin <laughs> is somewhere else. <laughs> An okay, invisible uh, violin? <laughs> yeah. All right, Gazal, did you have to something? Uh, yeah. yeah. He, he's on Gable's roof and <laughs> likes dancing. Dancing. Ah. Okay. All right, Maro, what, what do you think? Yeah, this guy, uh, first of all, he's wearing a polo shirt and blue jeans, and he's dancing on the gable roof. And he looks doing some exercise, maybe Tai Bo workout. <laughs> uh huh. Or, or, or he is probably dancing. Hey. I think he's hangover guy. Ah, he's, he's maybe he's hung over what does that mean yeah um, um wasted loaded or a drunk there you go and hung over i have to be technical right because i'm in a teaching role <laughs> hung over <laughs> is after after you're wasted drunk and full of alcohol right so hung over is how you feel you're sick or something after yeah so he is hangover <laughs> it's possible right right so the noun is a hangover if we're describing someone we would say he is hungover or like intoxicated well it's possible to still be intoxicated when you're hungover but the focus usually is when you have a hangover why don't we look at pictures <laughs> let's see what we have we'll say hungover guy and let's see what shows up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he's definitely not in the middle of the party having a great time, right? He possibly could still be okay. drunk, but he's kind of in the phase where he's, the alcohol is leaving his body. So he's hung over and kind of sick. And right. Yeah. So um, a picture. By the way, he, he seems, yeah. Yeah, by the way, he seems full of beans or full of energy. And he's like, he, he feels like he's floating on air. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. I think he looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And, and just to, here, let's, let's take a detour once again. No problem. All right. We have a new picture, which see if it pops up. It's coming, I think. Ah, there it is. So, <laughs> he, his eyes are red. His hair is disheveled, unkempt. His shirt is starting to be unbuttoned, and his mouth. B. How would you describe that, Kian? How would you describe his facial expression? Um, he looks 
Oh, as if he's been hit by a truck. <laughs> or, or punched, punched in the face. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> and Gazal, what do you think he's drinking to try to get him through the hangover stage? For sure, it's a concentrated coffee. <laughs> yes, it's probably black, strong coffee to try to wake him up because he probably, I don't know, maybe has to go work, go to work in a couple hours. So, yeah. okay, I'm not very kind to say he looks horrible, but he probably feels horrible. <laughs> okay, let's see. So let's see where we were at. Ooh, time goes so fast. Wow. Okay, so this guy's acting crazy on the roof. There's one thing I wanted to say, because both of you had said it. You said a gabled roof. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Slope. You could say slope. Roof also. Ah, a sloped roof. Okay, so we're talking about the angle of the roof. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. All right, because I'm not super familiar with this one. Well, let's take a look what it shows up. Gabled roof. I don't know if this is if this is British English or if it's um, just something I'm not familiar with. Okay, sure. Right. And uh, here's a good question. What do we call the individual pieces? What? On top of the roof, does anybody know? So there are pieces together, they overlap them, and they use a nail gun if they're quick, and dit -dit, and they move along and it keeps the rain out. What do we call each of those pieces? Does anyone have an idea? Speak up if you have an idea. I'll give you a hint, They start. it starts with an S. Mm, is that a hint? Hmm. Did Hi. Huh? <clears throat> Did someone say something? Tide. A tide. Oh, it's, tide. It's, it's not a tide. It's not tide. That's not, let's see, I, I'm thinking of a different word. And I'll just get to it so we can see the video. It's called a shingle. So if I put shingles, whoop, and that's not what I mean. There's also a sickness called singles. <laughs> shingles. <laughs> but we're not looking for that one. These are shingles. And maybe I'll say uh, shingles falling off a roof. So we can maybe see what they look like, the pieces. All right. Shingles. So these are shingles. Individual shingles. Okay. But now you know it's also a, a physical condition where you have problems with your body. But that's not what we're doing here. Okay. So let's go back. We have the picture. All right. So uh, how about a prediction? Hassan, can you give me a prediction? Don't say it's difficult. <laughs> no, it is easy. Very easy. <laughs> okay. What's Nothing's your prediction? Nothing's difficult. <laughs> it is probably uh, falling uh, on the roof, on, on ground. Okay. Uh, Ghazal, what do you think? <clears throat> uh, let's. Mm, be more specific because something like instrument bag is hanging with a carabiner to his oh. belt and like a handyman or someone to fix something out there and maybe his the the purpose was that so but but i can't predict anything mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe he, he's gonna sleep because it's a gable and this is not uh straight or and probably the situation. Uh-huh. Okay, so I have to restart my meeting again. Let's see, we'll start it. <laughs> it's connecting. I'm sure people are still there on YouTube, but we will reconnect. I'm gonna share my screen and see if people come back because they probably want to see the video. Wait, whoop. Stop my share. We don't need the whole. Okay. Right. So let's see if people come back. Right. In the comments, UQ Kawhi said roof tiles. Ooh, very similar. Roof tiles. It's not a bad guess. Let's see. Let's see if anyone's coming back. 
See, I just restarted. Uh huh. Here we go. Okay, Kian's back. <laughs> All right, welcome back, Kian. All okay. right, I may have to upgrade my Zoom so I can do unlimited. We'll see. All right, Mar was yeah. back. All right, let's see. All right, Hassan is back. <laughs> we go so long. They give a 40 minute time limit, but go so long that we do it two times. All right. Hi again. Yes, hello again. Welcome back. And Hassan as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, who hasn't given a prediction yet? I think everyone did, right? A prediction <clears throat> or I haven't. Oh, Kian. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You had stepped away for a moment. What's your prediction, Kian? I think um, he's going to... Um... Um, it's gonna slide and um, fall off the you know the roof. Okay, that's. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's see. Gazal's back, so I'll admit her, and I'll unmute. There we go. Okay. What's your? All right. So here we go. Let's take a look at the video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> crazy guy <laughs> yes all right so go ahead marwa yeah. how would you describe his lovely movements <laughs> <laughs> dancing all around and um flooding himself you know huh? Huh? and um he's doing like exercise i don't know what type of exercise is this but it, it, is it maybe Thai because he gets a promotion <laughs> in his job or maybe not Taibo, no. Taibo is different a little bit, not that much. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, and um, maybe he got a promotion in his job or he got a decent job. That's why he feels so happy, super happy, I mean. Or maybe he he's saying to his uh, girlfriend, look, baby, you cannot ditch me. Okay? <clears throat> I don't know. In the YouTube... <laughs> In the YouTube, uh, let me show you a quick comment that someone had put. Hit it here. Stuck like that. Give me one sec. Oh, it's disappeared. No worries. Someone had said passion dance. <laughs> there it is. Vera Kalugina has said passion dance. I like that. <laughs> Maybe it is a type of exercise called passion dance these days. I know. Don't know. Let's go to uh, how about Hassan? What do you think? He's doing his job with great pleasure. He, uh -huh. he loves his job. He loves his job. Okay. Yes. All right. Gazal. Enjoys... Oh, go. Yes, Hassan, go ahead. He enjoys his job. I said. He's like, yes, I love putting shingles on the roof. <laughs> I'm gonna dance like a maniac. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> I love it. Maybe he, excuse me. <laughs> Maybe he's saying like to hell with Sir Kanatanth. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Gazal. Uh, he's like um uh, dancing and doing some acrobatic <laughs> movement. Mm -hmm. He's trying to <laughs> keep his balance and the gable. And the most interesting part of the picture is that indifferent neighbor. <laughs> uh -huh. in the background right yeah right all right Kia. what do and... you think well i think um he he might have um just uh you know got got married uh, i mean got, got divorced and uh, he's so happy about it Mm -hmm. yeah, Maybe definitely. the opposite. <laughs> but why are you celebrating yeah. <laughs> on rooftop? <laughs> because of happiness. He's on, on cloud nine. <laughs> so, Kian, he's happy to be free? Is that what you mean? Yeah. So, ah. he, has no, uh, he has no responsibility any, any longer. So, <laughs> uh -huh. and I'm going to type yeah. a word that maybe will make him lose his good mood. Let's see. 
Okay. Alimony. Does anybody know what does the word alimony mean? Crazy, crazy. Oh. Let's see. Alimony is a noun, so it's a thing. And it's it what it happens after divorce? Uh-huh. The money. The, the money. The yeah. financial su support, yeah. Financial. Yes. Yeah. So let's say the, the husband and wife they go in front of the judge and they officially get you know divorced. It's illegal, whatever. And the judge says what? What do you think, Azal? When you said money, you have the right idea, but how? Yeah, it says uh, maybe the wife or the, or the husband uh, cannot afford the life <laughs> and financial, uh, yeah, financial, they, can, they cannot solve their financial problems and uh, the other uh, partner have to, has to pay money, I don't know, make it monthly and it, it can help him or her to uh -huh. accomplish yeah to co cope with the problems sure sure exactly and let's hear google's trend or uh, pronunciation should be an american accent let's see alimony alimony can you guys hear that alimony yeah yes uh, so a female voice alimony okay so it is let's see how about uh hassan can you read what is the definition i just highlighted it alimony Yep, can and, you read what I just highlighted here? Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. A husband's or huh? wife's court or deed provision for a spouse after separation or divorce. Sure. Yes. Right. It's husband. money. It's all about the money, right? It's uh, yeah. finances, <laughs> right? So it's court so ordered. It's Let's see. Uh, court ordered means you have no choice. Well, I guess you do have a choice, but there are sure. certain consequences if you don't pay it. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So somehow we got from the video onto alimony, but no worries. Right. So, uh, ah, here's a question. At one part in his frantic, crazy movements, he puts his hands down on the roof and he kicks his feet up, right? What do we call that? There's a word. Flip, flip, flipping. I'm sorry, mm. I couldn't hear. Flipping, maybe, maybe. Well, a flip would be if he went all the way over, right? If he flipped either forward or backwards, but he left the ground mm. and rotated. This one, he puts okay, his- teacher, you tell us, what is it? <laughs> Any, any guesses? Handstand? Yes, it's a handstand. So he did a... Uh, Excellent, Tian. I like it. He did a... Uh, how about this? An awkward <laughs> handstand on the roof. Hmm? Right. So it's just a handstand. He put his hands down and he went up. And he flipped his legs kind of on the top. All right? So... Yeah, that is the video that's already number three. Does anybody have any other comments they'd like to say about this video? I just like the guy. I do. I do. Hi, Namjani. I'm Jani. I hear. I hear a different language. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, my my phone rang. <laughs> Oh, no problem, no problem. Oh, what were you saying, Zane Kian? I, I said I, I, I like the guy. If if I get married, I would definitely uh, invite invite him to my <laughs> to my marriage. Then. And if you if you'd get divorced, you'll invite him to your divorce party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's see. We had three options today. We had uh, this one. We had the Frankie video. And we had the dog video. So which one do you guys like the best? We don't have to agree. First, what do you think? Me, the first one. All right. Marwa says number one. Ghazal, what do you say? Yeah, this one. Huh? And Kian? Number three. Number three. <laughs> and Hassan, what do you think? As a fan of friends, number two. Great. <laughs> we have multiple answers. And let's see, we have one more in the YouTube comments. UQ Kawhi says one. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So if I had to choose, no, well, I guess it depends what I'm looking for. Am I looking for humor or am I looking for a situation where you go, ah, oh, that's just nice, <laughs> right? Well, if I have to choose, I'll probably choose Ross. I think he's just kind of funny. <laughs> but there's no right, no right answer to that question. Okay, so I'm going to do my closing, but I will let you know at the very, very end, I have a picture that we can describe. So let's do, today we did, let's describe and predict number one. And let's see. So our goal is to describe pictures, predict what will happen in the video. We did it. Get check marks. All right. So the motto here is improve your English, become more valuable. Doesn't just have to be English, right? It can be any skill that you need that you feel will make you more valuable, more able to do things and have a better life. All right. So if you like our stuff here at Able Lingo YouTube, feel free to subscribe and there are notification bell. Blah, blah, blah. Let's skip that stuff. Let's go straight to the picture. All right. Let's start with. Uh, how about Kian? Tell me something about this picture. Okay, I can see uh, 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 see. I can see it, and there are, there are three hot air balloons, and they're they're very colorful, and uh, I can see some clouds in the background, and um, uh huh, yeah. I'm, there, there's some, uh, there, there, there's a light, and I don't know what, what that is called, or what's it called in English, so. Lighthouse, um, I guess. Yes, lighthouse. <laughs> hmm? Okay. All right, and let's, let's see, go. I'll go down. How about Ghazal? I'll ask you a more specific question. How do you feel looking at this picture? Uh, it's uh it's peaceful full of uh positive vibes because it's uh vibrant on the one hand on the one hand it's uh like blue and blue is a uh, very calm and peaceful color we have some cloud in the background and the weather is gorgeous it's picturesque actually and uh that lighthouse is shining and it's like a gu a guidance for balloon maybe i know that this is a photo montage this is not a real picture <laughs> and but the borderline between the sky and the sea is like navy blue and um uh, i like it <laughs> yeah, sure I think it would be difficult to find someone that says, I dislike this picture, but <laughs> it's possible. All right, Marwa, how about you? Uh, yeah, I'll ask a specific picture. question and then you can add. Okay. Tell me about okay. the weather. The weather, yeah, the weather is partially clear. Not that much clear because we got some, some clouds in there in the skyline. Um, and yeah, the weather. Um, it's beautiful, and I think it is like sun, sunset, it's about to sunset, yeah, and, um, um, and there is no sun, as you can see, and um, um, <laughs> the weather is beautiful and uh, mesmerizing, yeah. Uh-huh, cool. And Hassan? Okay, and, uh, oh, yeah, yep. when, when I, when I... Go yeah. ahead, go ahead. When I look at this, when I look at this picture, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I uh, I just uh, remind uh, remember the back days, the my beautiful back days. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. All right, Hassan. I'll ask a specific question, and then you can add what you would like. Okay. If you were standing out here on this, I guess the ledge or the rock on the rocks here, what kind of clothing do you think you would be wearing? Uh, I I I would uh, wear uh, coat uh, and jean. Okay. Uh, maybe a hat uh, and uh, okay, <laughs> that's it. Sure. So it, from what I heard, you think it's kind of cool weather. It's not too hot. 
it's maybe not freezing yes. but it's cool okay it is cool uh, because it is sunset or uh, yes yeah, sunset uh, so uh, it must be cold okay okay all right and what else would you like to add about the picture hassan uh, it's very uh, relaxing and I feel comfortable when I see this picture. Uh -huh. uh, I want to uh, be there. Uh -huh. sure. So would I. <laughs> yes. I, now, I, I want I'll... to be in balloon, <laughs> ah, not okay. on rack. <laughs> All right. Let's see, I'm going to make a comment here. There was something in the, in the YouTube comments. It says, I feel relaxing. And I just wanted to, if you describe yourself, you would say, I feel relaxed. Right? You yeah. could describe the situation as it's a relaxing situation. But if you want to say, I feel, you would say, I feel relaxed. Right? Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. All right. I, I would agree. I would say this is a very relaxing situation. It makes me feel relaxed. There's probably not a lot of wind or else the hot air balloons wouldn't be there <laughs> or else they would be flying across the sky. They seem to be mm -hmm. vertical, straight up and down, so it's probably not very windy. And also, yeah, and, uh, uh -huh. the colors, go they go together here. Sure, Jesus. we could say the, color, it, yeah. the color scheme fits well, the color scheme. Yeah. The water seems to it's be, over. there are waves, but it's not too rough. It's kind of flat and calm water, so yeah. It's a nice way to and end. And excuse me, teacher. Uh oh, excuse me, I interrupt you. I mean, what is this thing uh, on the side, on the right side? What is it called? This one, cliff. It's not the cliff. What is this? The the rock or the building? Yeah, the rock and the building too. Was all? What was the building? It Is was that? a lighthouse. Yes, it's a lighthouse. Lighthouse. Okay, so. Uh, what is this? The rocks. What we, what we call it? Hmm. Well, you could maybe say a rock formation, which is just kind of natural rocks that are there. If it's mm -hmm. high enough, it could be a cliff. Like if you're on the far mm -hmm. side, and if it drops down, maybe it could be a cliff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If it's, it can be an island, I think, uh, as well. It's possible. It's possible. It's just, yeah. we, similar to island. Yeah. We, we can't see this part. If it's an island, it needs to have the water all the way around it, right? What yeah. What do you call it if it's a land formation, but it sticks out? It sticks out from the, the mainland a little bit. So it's not an island. The water doesn't go all the way around, but it sticks out a little bit. There's a word that starts with P. I'll just right. say it because time is running out for me. A peninsula. A peninsula. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I need the Persian words, <laughs> but I didn't know. <laughs> ah, yeah. let's see peninsula if we can... is not an island. It's similar to island, which means it is surrounded with water from three, I think, uh, directions. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. So uh, here's a peninsula, right? It's almost, you know, yeah, yeah. the majority of it mm -hmm. is surrounded by water, but you can still have a direct yeah. access back to land. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So this was an experiment for me today, bringing so many people live at the same time while having a YouTube. I say thank you for your patience with me because we had to restart and all that good stuff. So uh, and thank you to you, teacher, and to all the um, participants here. Sure. Yeah. So in the comments, coming live on Zoom, wonderful. I had a great time. And uh, yeah, so I need to go. Thank Until you Until next much. time. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You did great, guys. Thank you. Yes. Thank well you done, so everyone. Much. And I imagine I yeah. I admire your confidence for coming live. Well done. Yeah, okay. Sure. Thank you. Sure. All right. Sure. So Thank I'm you. going Thank to. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm going to end the meeting, and we will see you next time. Okay. Bye. Okay. All right.